Okay everyone, thank you for coming back once again to learn more about what a catchment area is. Now, today we'll be discussing what a catchment area is in terms of human geography. Well, in human geography, a catchment area is the area from which a city, service or institution attracts a population that uses its services. For example, a school catchment area is the geographic area from which students are eligible to attend a local school. Governments and community service organizations often define catchment areas for planning purposes and uh, public safety, such as, uh, if you can think uh, about ensuring universal access to services like fire departments, police departments, ambulance bases, and um, hospitals. If you talk about the creation of a catchment area, um, catchment areas are generally established and modified by local governments. Now, these boundaries can be modeled using geographic information systems, uh, which we call as GIS, and there can be large variability in the services provided within different catchments in the same area, depending upon how uh, and when those catchments were established. These are usually contiguous, but can overlap when they describe competing services but uh, so uh, in simple terms let us define now what catchments really mean a catchments catchments can be defined based upon uh, a number of factors including distance to the facility actual travel time to the facility the geographic boundaries or population within the catchment in a distance based catchment the this the area serviced will often depend on the number of visits expected to that institution by each individual for example it may be more acceptable to have a larger catchment for a hospital where any one individual will have few annual visits in comparison to a school where visits will be daily and hence desired distance will be closer. When a facility's capacity can only service a certain volume, the catchment may be used to limit a population's ability to access services outside that area. Now uh, we can take an example that some children may be unable to enroll in a school outside their catchment to prevent the school's services being exceeded. Let's take a look at other examples of catchments. Airports can be built and maintained in locations which minimize the driving distance for the surrounding population to reach them. A neighborhood or district of a city, let's take another example, a neighborhood of a city often has certain uh, several small convenience shops each with the catchment area of several streets supermarkets on the other hand have a much lower density with catchment areas of several neighborhoods or several villages in rural areas this is similar to the central place theory which makes catchment areas an important part uh, an important area of study for geographers, economists and urban planners. Let's take another example of Nigeria. In Nigeria, most federal schools respect that the fact that some states are educationally less developed than others. The country's higher education catchment areas have therefore been designed to ensure a good mixture of students from different backgrounds. Uh, I think for today that was it and I'm sure you would have gained something from uh, our lecture today on 
catchment area in terms of geographic locations. Hopefully we'll meet in another video soon.